Number 25, Ainu. Ainu, a Japanese dialect, is known as one of the rarest languages still in existence. The members of the Ainu ethnic group on the island of Hokkaido speak the language. It has no other genealogical relationship with any other languages, but until the 20th century, a small number of people on the Kuri Islands spoke it. All languages except the Hokkaido language are extinct, and though the Hokkaido Aino is endangered with 300 known users and 15 fluent speakers, there are ongoing attempts to revive it. Number 24. Apiaka. Apiaka is the spoken language of the indigenous people of the same name who reside in Mato Grosso, Brazil. Belonging to the sixth branch of the Tupi language, the Apiaka dialect is considered by UNESCO to be critically endangered, where there's only one remaining speaker who can fully speak the language. Nowadays, most people of the Apiaka tribe speak Portuguese, while those who intermarry with other tribes speak their spouse's language. While there have been attempts to revive the language, they were mainly unsuccessful. There has been, however, a recent initiative to revive the language through the production of the Apiaka Word textbook. Number 23. Bikia. Bikia, which is also known as Furu, is a Bantoid language spoken in Cameroon. The language was put in the spotlight when an English linguist, David Dilby, filmed an 87-year-old woman speaking in Bikia, her native tongue. Four surviving speakers were identified in 1986, and only one man in his 70s can speak the language. There's a possibility that this language is already extinct. Number 22. Chamikura. This is a critically endangered language with only eight people known to speak. The Chamikuro tribe, which is an aboriginal tribe in South America, has a population of around 10 to 20 people who live in the tributary of the Huayaga River in a beautiful plain called Pampa Hermosa in Peru. Though a Chamikuro dictionary has been created, no children can speak the language as they have all shifted to Spanish. Number 21. Chemehuevi. This language is a Yudo S. Tekken language spoken by the Chemehuevi tribe. You can hear this language being spoken in Ute, Colorado, and in other areas like southern Powhit, Utah, northern Arizona, southern parts of Nevada, and the Colorado River. Though the Chemehuevi is still existing and thriving today, only three adults are known to fully speak the language. Number 20. Dumi. This is the Kuranti language mainly spoken in the area around the Tap and Rava rivers in the mountains of the Kotang district in Nepal. With only eight people speaking the language, which is a part of the Tibeto-Burman language family, this is considered to be critically endangered. Preservation of the language has been made by creating a dictionary as well as a number of books written about the language's grammar and syntax. Number 19. Dusner. This tribal language in the Wendaman Bay area of Indonesia is critically endangered as it was reported that there are only three remaining speakers and they were reported to be injured during natural disasters. Linguists from the University of Oxford are striving to preserve the Dusner language as it was reported that two of these remaining native speakers narrowly escaped death during a flood while the other one is living near a volcano that recently erupted. Number 18. Kaksana. This language is said to be critically endangered. Its sole remaining speaker is 78-year-old Raimundo Avelino, who resides in Limero, a municipality of Japura in Brazil. It was once spoken in a village near the banks of the Japura River until the Portuguese settlers took it over. Number 17. Kansa. Kansa, a Suian language once spoken by the Ka people of Oklahoma, is the last native speaker is Walter Kakaba, who died in 1983. It's a good thing that before he died, a linguist named Robert Rankin met him and other surviving native speakers and made an extensive documentation of the language to help the Khan nation develop language learning materials. Number 16, Lemerig. This is an oceanic language that's spoken in Vanuatu, an island situated in the southern part of the Pacific Ocean, which is about a thousand miles east of northern Australia. This language is not actively spoken anymore as there are only two remaining speakers as of 2008, making it critically endangered. Lemerig is known to consist of four different dialects, all of which are probably extinct. Number 15. Najerep. A Bantoid language spoken in Nigeria. As of 2007, there are only four speakers left. None of them are younger than 60, making it critically endangered. Number 14. Angota. This is a nearly extinct Afro-Asiatic language spoken on the west bank of the Waito River in a tiny village in southwest Ethiopia with only six elderly speakers. The rest of the villagers had already adopted the Tsamai language. Number 13. Patwin. This is a Native American language spoken in the western United States. Descendants of the Patwin tribe still live in Cortina and Calusa outside of San Francisco where there's only one documented fluent speaker as of 1997. However, Patwin language classes have been brought back in 2010 at Yochadehe Wintun National Tribal School. Number 12. Paze. 
This is the language of a Taiwanese Aboriginal people, which originated from the Austronesian language. While there's only one remaining native speaker of the language, 96-year-old Pan Jin Yu, she was able to teach 200 regular students in Puli and a few students in Mia Li and Taoqing before her death. Number 11. Puelche. This is a nearly extinct language of the Pelche people in the Pampas region of Argentina. Long considered to be a very isolated language, there's limited evidence that it may have been related to several other languages from nearby tribes. According to researchers, it may only have five or six speakers left. Number 10. Kawaskar. This is an Alcolatan language that was spoken in southern Chile by the Kawaskar people. There were originally several distinct dialects, and Kakuhua is sometimes listed as one. However, the language family containing these two languages is known as Alcolufan. Nowadays, only 20 speakers are left, and half of them live on Wellington Island off the southern coast of Chile. Number 9. Tanema. This is a critically endangered language of the island of Vanikoro, an easternmost province of the Solomon Islands. As of 2012, there's only one known speaker, Lanol Nolo, as many of those who once spoke Tanema have adapted and started to speak Pijin or Tianu. Number 18, Taoshiro. An isolated language of native Peru, this is also known as Taoshiro in Spanish. This is a language spoken in the region of the Tigre River and Alcayu River, a tributary of the Ahurano River. As of 2008, a study conducted that there is only one person who can speak the language fluently, making it nearly extinct. Number 7. Tinigua. This is a nearly extinct language isolate spoken in Colombia, with only one remaining speaker as of 2008, living near the Guayabero River. This language originated from the Pamiqua language, which is also already extinct. Number 6. Toloa. A language spoken by the Toloa Native American tribe, with only a few members located in the Smith River Rancheria, which is a sovereign nation near Crescent City, California. This is a part of the Pacific Coast subgroup of the Athabascan language family, most of which is already extinct. Number 5. Vilela. An indigenous language of Argentina is spoken only by a handful of elders in the Resistencia area of Argentina and in the eastern Chaco near the Paraguayan border. The remaining Valela natives are being absorbed into the surrounding Toba people and other Spanish-speaking townsfolk. Number 4. Valao. This language is spoken on the Matalava Island, which is a part of the Republic of Vanuatu. Located near the east coast of Australia, the Republic of Vanuatu is composed of indigenous Austronesian languages, which are named after the island they're spoken on, though larger islands have different languages as well. Valao is nearing extinction as it has only one native speaker as of 2008. Number 3. Wintu Nomlaki. This is a language spoken by the Wintu tribe in California. With only one fluent speaker left and several speakers with moderate command of the language, this is considered critically endangered. Number 2. Yagan. It's one of the indigenous languages of the Yagan people of Tierra del Fuego, Chile. It's considered a language isolate, although some linguists have attempted to relate it to other dialects such as Kawasgar and Chon. Along with other Fuegian languages, this was included in the first South American languages that were recorded by European explorers and missionaries. However, as of 2005, only one native speaker remains, Cristina Calderon of Villa Uquica on Navarino Island in Chile. Number 1. Yarawi. This Papuan language was spoken in the Morobi province. A part of the Binandarian family of the trans New Guinean phylum of languages, it was spoken during the 20th century but is now nearing extinction as natives switched to Binandere. If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.